Hey guys, Jen here. Now, last time I showed you part one of how to throw a sweet brunch for your friends, complete with party favors and a beautiful tablescape. Now, Corbell has invited me to show you how to make yummy light bites and a refreshing cocktail for a treat yourself brunch. First up, some easy cucumber cups. Take similar sized cucumbers and shave off some of the peel. Then cut them into wide rounds. Grab a melon baller and carefully scoop out the middle. Now since cucumbers get really watery, place them on some paper towel and also dry the inside. The choices for the fillings are endless, but here are my two favorites. For the first one, combine softened cream cheese, mayo, shredded Monterey Jack cheese, diced pimentos, and garlic powder. Now mix it all really well, scoop it into your cucumber cups, and top them off with some crispy bacon. Now the second one also has some cream cheese, chopped dill, and capers. Mix it all up, and you guessed it, scoop it into your cucumber cups. Then add a little sliced shallot, and my favorite thing in the whole world, smoked salmon. A touch of dill really brings out the colors. For a sweet treat, here's how to make English scones. In a large bowl, combine all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Then add some softened butter that's cubed and use a fork to cut in the butter. If you don't want to use a fork, use your hands and really get that butter incorporated in the flour. You're done mixing when it looks like crumbly sand. In another bowl, mix eggs, buttermilk, and milk. Then pour it into your dry ingredients and mix it until just combined. Be sure not to over mix it or else you'll get like really hard scones and then your friends will hate you instead of loving you, and then they'll leave. So don't overmix. Now lightly flour your surface, dump out the dough, and gently knead it into a rectangular disc. Grab a cookie cutter to make your scone shapes, and gather all your leftover dough to make some more scones. Place them on some parchment paper, and to get the tops really golden brown, brush them with some buttermilk. Then bake it at 450 for about 10 minutes. Now to assemble your scones bar, put them on some beautiful pedestals and serve them up with assorted jams and whipped cream. And last but not least, my favorite recipe of all, a grapefruit rosemary sparkler. First, we're gonna make a rosemary infused simple syrup. So in a saucepan, combine water and sugar and heat it up. Once it begins to simmer, add some fresh rosemary sprigs. You can use a spoon to kind of press it and release more of that flavor. Then turn off the heat and let it sit for about two more minutes. Once it's completely cooled, transfer it, and that's it for the syrup. Now to make the cocktail, add some ice, grapefruit juice, that rosemary simple syrup, and orange bitters. Then shake vigorously and pour it into a glass with some ice. Then top it off with Corbel. Garnish it with some rosemary and a slice of grapefruit. Now remember, Corbel isn't only for special occasions, it's there to help you celebrate those everyday moments. Like when you wanna treat your friends and treat yourself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life and toast life.